Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these lovely Christmas peel-offs, peelies, whatever you like to call them. They're just temporary. Uh, you can put them on a glass. I uh, wouldn't wash it with it on. You take it off to wash it. But they'll go in lots of places. Basically they'll stick in on any non-porous surface. So glass and mirror, even your fridge door. Um, the great thing about them is, as I say, they are temporary. If I get that, and I will just peel it off this folder. And hopefully you can see it being, I'll try and get it on there smooth. Put on the bars there, okay. Not too straight, but that will now, now stay on there till I take it off. The other good thing is at the end of Christmas, you can just take it off carefully. Put it back on your sheet and put it away for next year. If at any time they stop sticking, it just means it's dried out a little. Get a damp cloth, wipe down the back and it will be sticking again. This one here I've done for the window. And as you can see, I've done it the uh, wrong way round. It's mirrored. So once it's stuck on the window, let's pretend that's the window, it will look like that. Okay, let's get on and make them. Well, this project is actually quite easy to do. We want it to be easy and fun because it's a Christmas project. You don't want to do anything too serious around Christmas. It's split into two parts, the outlining and the painting. If you want to do it with children, particularly younger children, I suggest the adult does the outlining and then you let the children do the painting. They should enjoy that. Right, to start with, as with most glass painting, we need to outline um, our design. Now I've got some designs here. I've printed them off the glass painting website. They were actually done to make a mobile, um, the mobile project. Um, but they're fine for the temporary stick-on glass painting as well. Now I've got a bit of board or a couple of bits beho behind just to give it a bit of stiffness. And I'm going to put that in this wallet. Now this is just a normal wallet which you would normally use in a, a ring binder. Doesn't matter if you haven't got one of these, any of this, anything which is smooth plastic. I will warn you, my wallet's got a crease down there. I'm just going to change the design round because I want to avoid that crease. If your wallet's got a crease on it and you work on it, that crease will transfer to your work. So having put all that together like that, if I can find my tape, I'm just going to put a bit at the top to keep it all in place and make sure the design doesn't move around whilst we're working on it. There we go. Now I'm going to start by doing this candy stick here. Um, normal outlining technique, I'm going to make my outlining bag. It doesn't matter what brand of outliner you use, just make sure it is a peelable one. Everything needs to be peelable in, these, in this project, both the paints, which I'll show you in a bit, and the outliner. So I'm using gallery glass liquid leading, but you can use any other brand or even homemade if you'd like. And we do have a video on making your own outliner. But make sure, even if it's one you make yourself, that it is peelable. Now, I just need to cut off the end here. That should be a fine thickness. We'll go for that. Whilst I'm starting the outlining, just to warn you, before you start the outlining, it's a good thing to go through your paints and um, make sure they're ready. Mix the ones which need mixing, and then they've got time to settle whilst you're doing the outlining, etc. Right, normal grass painting technique, touch, lift, and pull. Try never to be pushing the lead oh, and always work above the piece. A 
could do with this plastic lying down a bit better. Let's put a bit of weight on there. Oops, that didn't help, it actually made things worse. There's that one done, and whilst I'm here, I will probably do this snowman as well. Right, that's two done, and I'll probably leave it there for now. Let those dry. Just to say, if you haven't piped before, and it is a bit of a technique, then go and have a look at our video specifically on making the piping bag and piping, and it'll give you lots of hints and tips. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I was a bit annoyed that the plastic lifted up. I haven't stuck that down properly at all. Um, and I'll probably sort that out before I do any more outlining. But for now, I'm going to put that aside to dry, put my remaining outliner back in the bottle so I can use it at a later date. Now, before we dive into the painting part, let me just mention a couple of things about the paint. I've got several different brands here and it doesn't matter which you use. Um, some are better, slightly better than others, but all much of a muchness. Um, Gallery Glass and Pebio, perhaps two of the best well known. There's a glass design one there. There's a barrel one there. There's a Stanger one there. Um, and I've obviously got some homemade ones as well, particularly the white, because I didn't have white in anything else, so it's a homemade white. If you'd like to make your own peelable glass paints, we do have a video on that. Go and take a look. I say this is the part that children can do if you'd like them to. Otherwise, you're into doing it yourself. So this isn't the one I did earlier. This is a... Uh, Another one I did quite a while ago. I have actually managed to get the plastic flatter on this, but what I will do is still put something like that on to ensure it does stay flat whilst it's drying. Now, because we've outlined, all we're really doing is filling in the gaps and we want it to be quite a thick fill um, because we are gonna peel it off afterwards now. I have been through my paints. I'm hoping I've made sure each one is not blocked or got any dried bits in the nozzle. And you'll see I'm putting on quite a thick layer. Now you can use different brands in the same piece. You can use homemade and bought ones in the same piece, but keep them into different areas. Don't mix them in the same area because you never know whether two brands are gonna are mix together okay. You can mix two colours of the same brand together in the same area. If I had a darker green, which I don't, I would probably drop a bit in here. But there we go. Try not to get any air bubbles. And if you do, just try and pop them. If I use my homemade ones, which are in pots, I'll obviously use a brush to do those. And you can do the same with nozzle paint. You can use a brush if you get to the stage where there's a very fine line. Say I was doing that little bit down there. I would use my brush to do that and just lift it in with that. And some people do like to keep a cocktail stick or I tend to use my craft knife just to get any bubbles which get into the work. So keep on making sure you've got it right up to the out, outline. You do not want a gap. Now, if you're careful, you could do carry on and do those bits, but I tend to leave one bit to go at least tacky dry 
before I start the next bit. And luckily, I've got plenty to do, so I can go off and work on another one whilst that one is drying. Right, I shall carry on painting these and then we'll come back when they're dry and see how they peel off. Right, well we've given those a bit of time to dry and you can see the result. Unfortunately, I should have left the white paint longer to settle before I used it, but we won't worry too much about it. But you can notice lots of little bubbles in the paint when it's dried. Now the first time you take these off, it's going to be a little bit difficult. It always is, especially if you haven't got nails like me. Just do it carefully. There we go, and that will then restick. And as any further times you come to take it off, it will be easier. Uh, so where can you put these? Well, um, now you can put them on a glass like that, and make your glasses nice and festive for the holiday period. You won't be able to wash them like this. And this is water-based paint. It'll take a quick wipe down. Um, but you won't be able to soak wash it or put it in a, a dishwasher or anything like that. So if you're gonna put it in a dishwasher or soak wash it, just take it back off, place it to the side, and then you'll be able to put it back on when it has finished being washed. Get it smooth, that would be a good idea. You can also put them in other places. Um, hopefully I'll get some pictures and show you windows, mirrors, anything which is a non-porous surface, even your fridge door. So lots of areas you can decorate. Just want to show you a little bit more in depth this one. Uh, a couple of slight things different about this. One is, as you'll notice, I've done it backwards um, and mirrored the writing. That's because it's going to go onto a window that way, but I want it to be seen outside the correct way round. The other thing is I could have left it as individual letters, peeled each one off, stuck each one on, peeled each one off, stuck each one on, but I didn't. Instead, I've used the clear, a clear, thick glass paint, peelable, obviously, around the outside. Hopefully, if I can start this, and this is even gonna be even harder to start, it should all come up in one nice go. Now, that'll go in my window, and I'll say, from the outside, it will look like that. So, I hope you have fun with this project. This project is, it's quite simple, but there's lots you can do with it and lots of areas you can put those Christmas decorations. We have other Christmas orientated videos on the website and projects on the website and on our YouTube channel. If you haven't signed up, to our email list please do that and we'll let you know when we've got more projects out or you can subscribe to our youtube channel last video before christmas probably so merry christmas so celebrating a happy new year and we'll see you next year